Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I have Olo here with me and he just got his Bolo Buddy shirt. Check it out. Yeah, how cool is that? So I do have youth sizes. This is a toddler size and I think it's a 2T, but I also have baby sizes like the little body suits and youth sizes. So if you guys are interested, I do have a link uh, down in the description of the video for merch. So you can check that out if you're interested. And this is going to be a Ben's video, a Goodwill Ben's video. But first, I'm going to take you with me as I drop off a huge load to um, my new consignment girl, Mary, who is also a viewer subscriber of my channel. That's how we met and we've become friends. So I am going to drop off a ton of stuff to Mary. So wait until you guys see that. And then we're going to head off to the Goodwill Bins to do some big time shopping. It is a scavenger hunt, you guys. Um, so I have to find six items. And the six items that I have to find are a plush item, a hat, a toy, a clothing item, a linen, and a Christmas item. And I will tell you that I walked out of there with more than six items. Now, this is a collab video. I am doing this video um, with Chosen Goods Reseller and Dad Planet. So after you watch my video, please head over and watch both of theirs. Um, I will link them down in the description of the video. And you can also put hashtag Ben's six into the YouTube search bar. And we are also inviting anybody that wants to participate in this uh, collab with us. You guys can join in by doing the same type of video and just doing hashtag Ben's six in the title so that people can find you when they put that in the YouTube search bar. So feel free to uh, join us in this uh, YouTube collab if it interests you. So hashtag Ben six scavenger hunt. So it is going to be a good time. Uh, what we decided to do is as we are hunting through the bins, we are going to pop up screen shares of all of the listed items. So we took it one step forward. We went ahead and listed the items and we are going to show you those screen shares as we dig. So stay tuned. We hope you enjoy. And again, be sure to go over to Dad Planet's channel and Chosen Goods Reseller. And again, I have those linked in the description. Thanks, you guys. Oh, hold on. Let me get you a shot here. Oh, I'm failing. I'm failing. I can't get it straightened. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to get this nice and nice and tidy here. Can you see it? Thanks for watching. <laughs> Had to. Had to do it. All right. Olo, good job. Good advertising. Good advertising. All right. All right, you guys, let's get started. It's going to be a good one. All right, Bolo Buddies, it is going to be a busy day. I am at Mary's, who is now doing consignment for me, and I am dropping her off a load. So I just want to share with you guys what a load looks like. All right, so I'm at Mary's. <laughs> Here's Mary. And Mary and I met because she is one of my subscribers slash viewers. And we realized that we live in the same area. And if you missed our bins video, we went to the Goodwill bins and we did a challenge. And then I was talking about needing someone to do consignment. And she's like, I'll do it. So this is my second load. And it's a big one. We're ready. To Mary. We got a brand new Nerf gun over there that she's going to list. I think that'll do good on Mercari. We got some bags and some really cool uh, crafters things that you paint down here. So um, she wants to see what everything is. How are you feeling, Mary? Do you feel, do you feel overwhelmed? I'm motivated. You're motivated yeah, because motivated. I feel super excited that I uh, got all of this out of my house. <laughs> My money pile is now your money my, pile. My money pile. <laughs> All right. So if anybody else wants to do consignment, I have more where this came from. So if you are in Licking County, Franklin County, Muskingum County, Knox County, 
let me know. I'll come drop you a load. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm standing in front of Mary's place right now and she is, we're going to get this stuff into her house and she's going to start listing these items. And I've told you guys before how we do it is, um, after fees, we do a 50, 50 split. So, um, and basically I drop it off and she is in charge from here out. So, all right. All right. We're here. We are at the Goodwill bins, guys. The Goodwill outlet where you buy things by the pound. All right, we are heading in. We're gonna have some fun. I've got on my glove, and it's a good thing I did. Wait until you guys see what I find. Yuck. I'm still not sure what it was. All right, there was one cart. One cart left just sitting there waiting on me. So, you guys, I just want to tell you, I'm still learning the rules of the bends. <laughs> I was standing um, in the aisle, and I was like, why are these people lined up and nobody's shopping? And um, it must have been like they were getting ready to bring out another cart. And they're like, all right, you need to move. And I'm like, why do I need to move? And they're like, well, we're bringing in another cart. And I'm like, well, can't I just stand here and you put the cart in front of me? You know, I'm thinking I've got first dibs, right? They're like, no, ma'am, these people are in line. You need to get behind them. And I'm like, oh, man. So, um, yeah, I got shooed away a few times. And I'm like, well, can I move this way? And I just had to be explained the rules like two or three different times. It was kind of a bummer, um, but everybody was very, very nice. I think this is my maybe fourth time at the bins. Um, I think I've recorded every time I've come. So uh, yeah, this I thought was pretty cool. I saw this and then I saw the other one and I'm like, that looks like it attaches to the top of that. And it did. It is a Happy Meal toy actually. And I did not know that. And that top does not actually go to that dinosaur. I did learn that. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to list that or not or if I'm going to just donate it. I haven't quite decided. I think it would sell eventually, you know, one of those. I did uh, grab the little cookie monster. I always pick those up. Uh, I bundle those typically. I find those a lot at garage sales, um, and I pick them up at thrift stores, and I do pretty well bundling them, so I will pick those up when I see them. And they're super lightweight, so at the bins, it's like next to nothing. Um, I do believe my bins is $1.59 a pound. And again, I just want to say again that this challenge or scavenger hunt I am doing with Chosen Goods Reseller and Dad Planet. Um, so please make sure that you go over and visit their channels. Um, Dad Planet has been doing this for a while. I think he's almost to 3,000 subscribers. I know he is going to be um, doing a giveaway when he hits 3K. So uh, he's giving away a mystery box. So definitely make sure you go over and subscribe to him. Um, I did pick up that express hat. That is going to be my hat. Uh, that's one of the items that I have to pick up for this challenge is a hat. And it's not a big money item. It's a bread and butter. Um, I do pick up two other hats during this Ben's run. And actually one of them already sold. So maybe I picked the wrong item. But the other item, the other two were bread and butter also. But I think that the Express hat is going to be long tail. Now this item ended up having really good comps and I did put it over on my other channel, um, reseller testing products to show how it works. So, um, that was a good pickup there. That one was good. It is a heavier item. So it was probably two or $3 I'm guessing. Um, but blaze and the monster machine items I do typically pick up. Now that was not a small one. That was a big one and it did have sound. This item is um, a Fisher-Price Ferris wheel, and it is more of a modern reproduction, but that sold really fast. I did price it low to move it quickly, and it sold for $10. Okay, so the other person doing um, this uh, 
scavenger hunt is chosen goods reseller and she is new to youtube um and she's pretty new to reselling also she started out doing like um kind of some retail arbitrage um oh what do you call it i can't think of it uh where you buy those boxes that have uh wholesale ninjas or something like that like the makeup and stuff like that. And, you know, it wasn't really her thing. So she's starting to get into, you know, thrift stores and stuff like that. Okay, that thing I bought and I couldn't get it to turn on. So I just got rid of it. <laughs> so that was a bad buy, guys. Um, so anyway, if you want to follow somebody who is brand new and learning YouTube and learning, she knows how to resell. She knows how to list. She does a great job but kind of exploring, you know, different things that she's reselling, definitely check her out. But I wanted to get somebody who was new in on this Ben's challenge. So I decided to challenge her on the scavenger hunt. And she's never been to the Ben's. So her and her husband went. So um, they had a good time and she got a lot of really good stuff. So um, I kind of got a sneak peek. I have no idea what Dad Planet got, so I'm definitely going to venture over to his video. But um, Carissa did show me some of her stuff, so uh, she got some good stuff. I was kind of like, man, I want to go to your bins. So I did find a bolo. So um, have you guys ever seen these little guys before? So these are VTech, and you guys know that I love selling toys. So these have lights and sounds. When you push the little buttons um, on the front, they start talking and they light up. So individually, these are not super valuable. Um, I will tell you that there were people lined up that had already gone through these bins and I don't know why they didn't grab those. There were four of them right there, all sitting right in that little pan. And then um, I, I did put a few things in my cart, and I did look up comps, and I put a lot of stuff back. So you're going to see me put things in my cart like that thing. I can't remember what it was, but I put it back. But anyway, back to these VTech things. I put these, um, sorry, I'm getting sidetracked every time I see something. I put these flippers in my cart. And I comp them out and I put those back also. Um, so the VTEC. I typically will pick those up at garage sales and I will bundle them. There were four. So I was like, hey, you know, there's four. I can bundle four. I'll do okay with that. But then I found two more. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, cool. Uh, I'll keep looking. And I did see some track. Uh Typically, I'll just leave the track and I'll go for the vehicles. So now I have six and I'm like, that's awesome. But I'm wondering, like, why did nobody else pick these up? I mean, there were people there already lined up for the next round of bins. So I wasn't sure why they passed on those because their carts were loaded up. I mean, some of them had two carts and they passed on those. So I don't know, maybe... They just, that that's not their thing. I, I don't know, but I like the VTech. Um, I've done, I've sold them before and do well with them. So um, yeah, I'll take your VTech. <laughs> I was glad they passed on those. All right, so wait, just wait, you guys. It gets better. It gets better. Okay, so there's all the track that I did not pick up. And maybe I should have got the track. I don't know. But you can see what's happening here. As I dig. Oh, that puzzle is going everywhere. Oh, what a mess. What a mess. Little containers. So tell me in the comments, what do you guys look for when you go to the bins? More VTech. A little light. I went ahead and grabbed the light. That's kind of an accessory. It's not um, the track. I probably should have got the track and tried to sell it as like replacement track because there was a lot of it. There were also some, um, there were some more cars. There were also some of the bath toys from the show Disney Cars. 
I have no idea why people left these behind. Jackpot. You guys, I got 24 of those. 24. And most of them worked. So I went ahead and listed them at $125. And I have them on sale for $93 plus shipping. So, um, or best offer. But, uh, yeah, 24 of them. Everybody just left them behind. I have no idea why. I'm so confused by this. If anybody has an answer for me, look, I just kept grabbing them. It was like amazing. I'm like, this is fantastic. I'm, I thought I was going to find like a hundred of them. They were just everywhere. It was awesome. I was super excited. So because they were all the same, I lotted them together and that is my toy listing. I just kept finding more. Yep. Just kept finding more. I was uh, very thrilled with that um, finding. I almost grabbed that hippo. I have one of those listed um, and he has not sold left yet. So I left it behind. Um, I don't know. If I had sold the hippo, I probably would have grabbed it. But because he's still sitting, I didn't want to have two sitting. Now, I did do a video on the hippo and the elephant. And the video is doing pretty good on my reseller testing products channel. So um, even if that doesn't sell quick, I'm at least getting some views over there. And that's helping build up that channel. So um, if you guys want to subscribe to that channel, I think I'm at like 168 subscribers. Um, even if you uh, are not really interested, I am trying to get my 1,000 subscribers and my 4,000 hours. So if you guys want to help me out, that would be awesome. Um, again, I'm just testing products over there. And what I do is I test the products and then I link them to my eBay store so that when people um, are looking at my eBay listings, I can put a video in the description of my eBay listing and that will show people that my item works and how it works. So um, it's kind of like a little added layer of protection in my opinion. So if somebody says they got the item and it doesn't work, I can say, well, it works in the video. So maybe it got damaged during shipment or maybe somebody's less likely to file a claim, you know, a false claim saying it didn't work. If there's proof that it works in the video, I don't know, it may deter someone, may not, you know. But uh, I just like the idea of having that video in the description. I like seeing how things work before I purchase them if I don't know how they work. So just something I've been trying to do more of. It, it is time consuming. It does take more time. All right, let's see. And you guys, the hardest part for me of this challenge, this scavenger hunt... I'm going to call it a challenge because I had to buy clothes. And I will tell you that I do not like to look at clothes at the bins. I go for the hard goods. I don't even typically go to the clothes area when I go to the bins. I have no interest in finding clothing items. And at the bins, it's like a mound of mess. It's just stuff piled on top of each other. And I do not want to mess with that. Okay, so this Spanish thing, it was sealed. I even priced it kind of high, but I put it in my cart and I meant to take it back out. And I did, I took it back out and I looked up comps and I meant to like throw it back in the bin and I threw it back in my cart. Like, I, I don't even know what happened there. I, I got home and I'm like, how did I, how did I buy this? <laughs> I mean, I got out of the checkout over to where I was bagging it. And I'm like, how did I do that? Like, what just happened? And it was heavy. So I probably paid like $2 for it. I don't know. But um, yeah, that was a mistake. I did not mean to buy that. But that's okay. I mean, I'll probably make a buck or two if it ever sells. Who knows? But um, womp womp on that one. Kind of funny. It's good for the video. I mean, I can laugh at myself. We all do things like that where we uh, get home or we leave the store and we're like, did I really buy that? Like, how did that even happen? This Mickey Mouse was kind of cool, but um, I don't know if he worked or not. And he was a little bit um, 
he needed spot cleaned and I don't know if he would have cleaned up. So I just left him behind. There's a little monkey backpack. That was kind of cute. So at this point, what, I have my toy? Is that all I have? And my hat. Again, there were two sets of those, but they didn't comp out very high. And I couldn't tell if everything was there or if they were used. So I just decided not to mess with those. Lots and lots of stuff. Lots of junk. That's for sure. It's quite the experience, the bends. I do enjoy it. I do. I really do. It is fun. My husband's never been, and I really want him to uh, experience this sometime. So um, I don't know if he would like it, though. Honestly, I just don't know. That is a train set, but I didn't really see any trains. So I didn't. Um, I just left it. So as I'm going through the video, let me know in the comments if you guys see anything that you would have picked up that I passed on. I think I've sold a total of three things from this haul so far. I've honestly been putting off um, doing the voiceover. I don't know. Um, I wanted to get everything listed, and um, I was trying to decide um, exactly how I wanted to uh how I wanted to do everything with this like did I want to uh do screen shares did we want to just do the six items or did we want to include items that were um not a part of the challenge or the scavenger hunt I'm like let's just if we listed it let's just share those items I mean it doesn't hurt to share everything right I think it helps Helps everyone learn, right? If you guys haven't um, seen the video, um, my husband went to an estate sale and uh, he was, uh, <laughs> I don't know if he was checking out or what he was doing in the estate sale owner, not owner, the guy running the estate sale was like, hey, you want all this stuff? Uh, for $10 and my husband didn't like respond right away and he's like you know what do you want it all for five dollars it was like a box of stuff and uh, I did get this stocking this is my Christmas item and um, so my husband's like five bucks okay and uh, so my husband I walked outside the other day and he was sitting outside looking through a box of stuff and I'm like what's that and he told me the story and I was like well can I unbox it on a video and he's like yeah if you want and I'm like yeah that'll be great for my new channel sourcing with bolo buddies so um I messaged Carissa chosen goods reseller and I said hey do you want to do an unboxing with me and she's like okay so um we did a a live not a live stream but like a pre-recorded video where we uh unboxed this uh five dollar box of like vintage and antique items that my husband got for five dollars there was some decent stuff in there I mean there's some sellable items he'll definitely make some money but five bucks I mean as resellers who can pass up five dollar box loaded full of stuff unbelievable so if you haven't seen that that is over on my new channel sourcing with Bolo Buddies. So definitely go check that out. All right, let's see. Okay, so we've got the Christmas item now. You guys saw that. And that was, um, it's not vintage or anything, but it was Disney. And it had the little clock also. And I think you can remove that and it could be like an ornament. It was kind of cute. I think it'll sell probably closer to Christmas, but I do sell Christmas all year long. So it could sell sooner. I will definitely keep you guys posted if any of these items sell. But I've sold three items. But only one of them is from the scavenger hunt. And actually, the item that sold had a defect. And I almost donated it. Oh my goodness, you guys. What is that? <laughs> 
Okay, so honestly, I think it was a piece of chocolate, like one of those Buckeyes, <laughs> where it's like a uh, peanut butter chocolate, oh, I don't know, but yuck, right? I'm glad I didn't stick my hand in it. That is part of the reason I wear gloves, but mostly I wear gloves. Um, I wear the kind that are like gardening gloves. So um, sometimes there's glass and like broken ornaments and stuff like that because I don't want to get like my hand cut. So I do wear a glove on one hand and then I hold my phone with the other and record. Okay, so I'm digging through the clothes. And as I said, I am not a fan of selling clothing anymore. So the last thing I wanted to do was dig through these clothes. But I'm doing it for the scavenger hunt. But first, I'm going to go back to the hard goods, it looks like. <laughs> so funny. I did not want to be at the close. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it for you guys. DVDs. What else do we have? That was a weird DVD. It was like a bat and a chipmunk. <laughs> Caught my eye. A dirty pan. So much stuff. I don't know what those green things are. There's a dino. I do like finding dinosaurs. Some of the older ones can sell for decent money. Um, always look at the bottom of the dinosaurs for uh, markings. A lot of them are dated or they have the brand on them. Okay, you guys. So here he is. Um, his hands are supposed to be attached and there's supposed to be a heart. It's like a Valentine's Day plush. However, the heart was missing. But I will tell you that thing was funny. His mustache wiggled. Um, he is over on my reseller testing products page if you want to see how he wiggled and what I think he's saying can't touch this. But he was a hoot and he sold really fast. I think he went internationally, but $10.13. I was thrilled to have him gone. He was a part of the scavenger hunt and he sold fast. So I was like, woohoo. Um, so yeah, I mean, I about donated him. That DVD was sealed. So I went ahead and picked that up. Um, anytime a DVD is sealed, I mean, that's kind of a no brainer because they weigh like nothing. Um, I know a lot of them are complete bread and butter, but, um, with the amount that they weigh, it's kind of like um, you can lot them. And uh, some of the stuff that I'm going to lot or um, like there were some toys that I threw in my cart. Those things I, I just won't. I won't pull up listings for because I haven't done anything with them yet. Like the I think the Cookie Monster and I think there was a little yellow toy Let's see. I can't. Oh, okay. I remember. I was trying to think what else I had. I think we're coming up on some socks. Yes, I said socks. Can you believe it? I bought socks. You'll see. You'll see. I had to. At first, I bought them for my husband. And now you guys are thinking, you bought socks for your husband at the bins? I did. What is that? 10,000 BC. That looks kind of interesting. All right, let's see. Oh, an owl, you guys. An owl. That's my mascot. An owl. All right. Here we go. We have some socks right there. Wrangler socks, eleven twenty-five, and some Woolworth socks for fifteen. Um, buyer pays shipping on those. They have not sold yet. I did have an offer on one pair that I did not take. Um, I went ahead and bought those. Number one because I thought maybe my husband would want them for work, but he declined. Um, and I went ahead and listed them. So. Uh, I figured, why not? Everybody needs socks, right? And I did find a clothing item. 
that was not it. And there were some clothing items that I saw that I probably would have picked up if I was still doing clothing, but that's not really my thing anymore. So um, I did pick up one item for the scavenger hunt and I did pick up a linen. Can you guys believe it? Uh, there was a Lucky Brand pair of jeans. And I saw an Express uh, Re-Rock pair of jeans. And this is like a little puffer jacket. I don't know if that was down or not. But, um, I mean, it was quilted. I don't know if that's in style or not. I am so out of the loop on clothing. I just got to be honest with you guys. I don't really know what's in or what's out anymore. I don't think Lucky Brand does as good as it used to. Um, but if you can get stuff cheap enough, I'm sure that there are still things that, um, you know, people like certain styles and, you know, like <sighs> there's things that I still wear because I like them that might not be in style. You know what I mean? But I like it because I still like it, even though it's not in style. I'm old, but I like what I like, you know? All right. There's a car stuck in the purses. So there was somebody going through the purses, and they were looking through every purse for, I'm guessing, money or I don't know. I'm assuming money. So if you find money in a purse or a bag, can you keep the money? How does that work? Do you, are there rules for that? Do you have to buy the purse and then you get to keep the money? Or can you just put the money in your pocket and you don't have to buy the purse? Like, does anybody know the rules at the bins? I'd really like to know the answer to that. If anybody can um, put that in the comments, that would be, that would be great. I'd really like to know. Because they were looking through it like if they found it, they were going to like walk out of there with $100. <laughs> I don't know. It was interesting for sure. It was like they came to the bins to look through the purses for money. That seemed like that was why they were there. They, I don't even know if they had a cart. I mean, they must find it. So I have sold that doll before. That guy right there, I've sold him. And I probably should have bought him. But did you see his hand? That's why I put him down. It's because his hand had been like chewed on by a dog or something. Um, so I passed. But he sold. I have sold him in the past. And he sold pretty quickly. So um, the necklace that he had on, that's how I knew it was him. And he had that um, blonde like surfer dude hair. I thought maybe that was a Vera Bradley at first, but um, I couldn't find a tag. That's kind of cute. Kind of cute. Guess what I bought today? I bought some more of my visor hats. My uh, beanie visor hats that I wear, you guys, that I'm kind of my signature hats. I got some different colors. I feel like I'm kind of sporting different colors now, so I got a few more colors. Ooh, that one was kind of cool. Maybe I should have got that hat right there. Did you see it? The red and the white kind of had the cool colors. Okay, so you saw me just move. I got kicked out of where I was. They were bringing out another bin and taking that one. Okay, so this flight Jordan hat, I don't know. I was kind of drawn to that one, but it was kind of stretched out. So I just disclosed it. I did buy it and I put it up for auction and it sold for the minimum bid of $14 and 99 cents. This one, um, I think it's new old stock. I have it up for, uh, for sale right now. I went ahead and bought it. It's the Browns. I don't know if that's good or bad. I do not follow sports, but it seemed to be in good condition. So I went ahead and grabbed it. I don't know what that bag is right there. Those are kind of cool colors. Might have missed something. I'm sure I did. I'm sure I missed a lot. You guys let me know. All right, where are we going? Oh, yeah, we're going. We got to find a linen. This coat was kind of nice. The plaid. Oh, 
I can't wait to see what Dad Planet and Chosen Goods reseller got. Like, I saw what she got, but I want to see, like, the listings popped up, you know, with uh, the white background and how she priced things. And, you know, I want, I want more details. More detail. Like, what things comped out at, not just what they got. I want to see the details. All right. So... I have a clothing item and a linen I still have to show you guys. Bolo Buddies at the bins. I think those were, no, I don't know. This green um, was a nice uh, color. I think I probably could have sold that if I was still selling a lot of clothing or wanted to sell clothing. Uh, it was kind of a fun uh, color. Okay, here it is. This is my clothing item. Uh, it's vintage. It's a size medium. It's called Breakaway by Lamplighter, I think. I don't know. I just thought it was really, really uh, fun. It's got like a little snag at the bottom. It's not horrible. Um... You see it? It can probably be trimmed. It's not awful. I just thought it was really... I liked it, so I bought it. So that's my clothing item. And honestly, like, it was right on top, and I didn't have to dig a whole bunch. So I was like, yes, vintage clothing right on top, done. Now I'm looking for a linen. There's another pair of Re-Rock Express. So I'm familiar with Re-Rock. I had a pair of Re-Rocks that I loved back in the day. I don't think they're as popular now. That is real fur, I think. But uh, you could see it was damaged. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I have bought that if it was damaged like that? Can people repair it? I don't know. I'm a lazy reseller sometimes. I don't like messing with things that need cleaned or that are damaged or that take work. Like I'm a I'm a sell it as is, sold as is, as is as seen. All right. So what I ended up getting is a throw. And when you see it, let me know what you think. I really like the colors, but I would be inclined to think that some people might think the colors are a little bit ugly. I kind of think I should have got this little sweater. I think it's kind of cute. I think it was like um, a size small. And I think it might be stained now that I'm looking at it. I really like, um, okay, so here's the little uh, granny square afghan I got. Aren't the colors kind of cool? It's like an orange and a green. I don't know. It's okay, I guess. Maybe it's not as, oh, we're back to that flannel jacket that I saw earlier. I must have missed that green. All right, you guys, I spent $32.48, and I really, really, really challenged myself today. Um, I got... Of course, the toys were not a challenge. Um, but for this challenge, we're gonna go with one plush item. So this is gonna be my plush item. A toy item, and I'm gonna lot up, I think, all of these in one big lot. And that is gonna be my toy listing because I got a ton of these. Um, I'm not including these. These will be a separate listing. I'm talking about the VTech items. The next item is a hat. And I got this Express hat that's new with tags. But I also got these two hats, which I'm not sure which one I'm going to pick. I think I should pick right now. Oh, man, I forgot to take this out of my cart and it was heavy. Oh, shucks. Um, which one should I pick? 
I think I'm gonna go with the Express hat because it's new with tax. A Christmas item. So this is what I got for my Christmas item. I don't think it's anything special, but it is Disney. So that's my Christmas item. And then a clothing item, which you guys was a challenge for me. But I went ahead and picked this. And it does have a little flaw, but it is vintage and it's very, very cool. Kind of a Christmassy sweater. So I'm gonna go with that for that. And the last item, which was a complete challenge is this blanket, a linen. So it's gonna be a linen, a clothing item, a hat, a Christmas item, a plush, and a toy. So six items, I challenge you to find those six items. Plush, toy, hat, Christmas item, linen, and a clothing item. That's six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, you guys. I'm just gonna show you guys what else is in my cart. My plan is to lock these up. I don't know if they're like bath toys or what. And again, this was an accident. I looked up comps and they were not good. So I meant to put that back. This is kind of cool. I don't, oh, cute, it moves. So I can put that on my testing products page. This is definitely cool and I think it does something. I meant to test this and I didn't. So that might be a womp womp, womp womp. I got these socks for my husband. So those are a personal purchase. And I don't know, I thought this looked unique with this little uh, thing on the top. And this had it also, maybe they sit on its back. I don't know. So yeah, some miscellaneous stuff. So those other items don't count. The only thing that count are the items I showed you. The hashtag for this is going to be Ben's six. Hashtag Ben's six. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Let's get started.